objectives and question answers, on the lesson, Forests Our Lifeline. Class 7, Science. Explain how animals dwelling in the forest help it grow and regenerate. Animals help in growing and regenerating forests in many ways. Animals work as the cleaning agents in the forest. Microorganisms work on dead bodies of plants and animals and degenerate them. Animals also help in pollination which helps in growing on numbers of plants. Herbivores helps the carnivores to grow as they serve as food for them. Thus, flora and fauna mutually grow in the forest. Explain how forests prevent floods. Forests can absorb a lot of water. The roots of the trees absorb the water and prevent it from flowing away. Roots of trees also help in the percolation of water into the soil. This helps in preventing floods. What are decomposers? Name any two of them. What do they do in the forest? Decomposers are the organisms that feed on the dead bodies of plants and animals. They clean the forest decaying dead bodies and replenish the nutrients back to the forest soil. Example, beetles and grubs. Explain the role of forest in maintaining the balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Plants release oxygen in the atmosphere during the process of photosynthesis. This oxygen is inhaled by the animals for respiration. During respiration, they release carbon dioxide, which is absorbed by plants. In this way the oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle goes on. Since forests contain a large numbers of plants, they help much in this cycle and maintain balance in nature. Explain why there is no waste in a forest. There is no waste in the forest because decomposers convert all the dead bodies of the plants and animals into the humus which gets added to the soil. Thus, no waste remains. List 5 products we get from forests. We get medicines from forests. We get gum from forests. We get wood which is used for many purposes like making furniture, paper, etc. We get food for animals from forests. We get sealing wax from forests. Fill in the blank. The insects, butterflies, honeybees and birds help flowering plants in. Pollination A forest is a purifier of dash and dash. Water and air. Herbs form the dash layer in the forest. Lowest The decaying leaves and animal droppings in a forest enrich the soil as humus. Why should we worry about the conditions and issues related to forests far from us? We should be worried about deforestation as it would lead to floods and increase in Earth's temperature, decreasing animals' habitats, and soil erosion. Damage to forests directly or indirectly affects human habitat and environment, so it must be a matter of concern among us. Explain why there is a need of variety of animals and plants in a forest. 
all plants and animals sustain the forest life, and also C02, and, 02 cycle goes on, due to animals, and plants. Animals convert the dead and decaying matters into humus, and increase the fertility of soil, thus enhancing plant growth. All food chains and food webs need variety of plants and animals. Which of the following is not a forest product? Kerosene Which of the following statements is not correct? Forests protect the soil from erosion. Plants and animals in a forest are not dependent on one another. Forests influence the climate and water cycle. Soil helps forests to grow and regenerate. Answer Plants and animals in a forest are not dependent on one another. Microorganisms act upon the dead plants to produce sand, mushrooms, humus, wood. Answer Humus. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.